In northwestern Kenya, the rural town of Luanda lives in extreme poverty. The rates of maternal and infant mortality are high. The nearest markets and health clinics are a long walk from town, and the hospitals are even further. Less than half of women have a skilled delivery. Quilts for Empowerment mission is to empower impoverished women and girls in Kenya, focusing on fistula survivors and young survivors of sexual assault. Quilts for Empowerment has two distinct programs that serve our mission. First, fistula survivors are taught and compensated for the quilted products they make, which are then sold in the U.S. Second is providing a safe home, education, and love to young sexual assault survivors. A prolonged labor often leads to an obstetric fistula as well as the baby being stillborn. Sexual assault and surgery can also cause a fistula. A million women worldwide live with fistula, which results in uncontrolled leaking of urine and or feces from the birth canal. It occurs primarily in sub-Saharan Africa and Asia, with the primary causes being poverty, low status of women, and lack of access to maternity care. Regardless of how they got their fistula, all women experience physical and emotional suffering. Mdem tota likufa ni wakapata nitito kwa na kila kitu kwa tumbo akasema hii si kitu ya kawaida. Sasa watu wangu wali wali nikimbi yako kidogo ada bwana kahanza kusema mtu mnyanya na toko na uchafu yote hivi tutakaaje muisho endio. This chula can be surgically treated. For a lady, if you have given birth, never give up. Fistula is a treatable disease. If you have it, you should not get worried about it and be proud of yourself. Since many people have gotten healed and they are now happy as I am. We began teaching quilting to fistula survivors in 2015 as a way to empower women socially and economically. Although none of our women had ever done any hand sewing before, they are highly motivated to learn and improve their skills. We've completed several quilt commissions for Fistula Foundation, in April 2019, we made 900 compass bags for the World Forum Foundations meeting in Macau, China. In addition to paying women monthly for their individual work, Quilts for Empowerment contributes an equal amount to their income generating support group. After receiving budgeting, savings, and business training, women write a simple business plan and receive money to invest, such as buying goats, chickens, cows, or starting a small business. The stability and financial success of our quilting program has allowed us to address the other part of our mission, empowering young survivors of sexual assault. Yoanita arrived first, coming to us after surviving an attempted rape while fetching water. She bravely fought off her attacker and was sent to us by her mother who feared for her safety back in her village. Yonita was soon joined by sisters Anne and Sharon, who were severely malnourished as well as assault survivors. Within days, all three were being escorted to and from school by their tutor and were proudly wearing their school uniforms. Our first family of girls was completed a few weeks later when Rose arrived wearing the only dress she owned. Already Sharon and Anne have gained weight and now all four are safe, loved, and enrolled in school. All have been treated for a variety of health problems but are now thriving. There's already a waiting list for girls under 10 years old who've been assaulted and are in need of our support. On behalf of the whole group, to say thank you. 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 <laughs> shine, shine, shine. I want to shine. Shine, shine, shine.